Hey guys, I'm Rigor Rob, and welcome back to the Fire Emblem 6 Binding Blade No Promotions Run. It has been a couple of weeks since we last did this, uh, so you guys up on YouTube will have caught up by now. Uh, and that means that we are trying to get through the remaining part of this game. I think we're halfway through, maybe a little bit over halfway, and we'll see how far we get. Uh, so, last time we made sure that Douglas stayed alive, we got all the chests, we beat Narsian. And that means we can move on to chapter 16x, The Glorious Ascension. At the request of King Mordred, Roy heads for the Saint's Tower outside Aquileia. The Saint's Tower was once a place of worship for Saint Elamine. In the tower lay numerous sacred relics relating to her. However, this sacred tower is now under the control of the revolutionaries. Bishop Wyndham now occupies the tower after betraying the Saint Elamine Church. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so uh, for those who have played Fire Emblem 8 Sacred Stones, you will recognize this map. It is the Tower of Valny. Uh, I did do some preparations beforehand, uh, having some time off. So I've given everyone that I want to have angelic robes, uh, pretty much all of our best units. I am taking along Faye because I am reliably informed that she's required for the final chapter. And I figured, rather than trying to, you know, worry about babying her to get all the way there, I'll just use her, you know, I'll level her up on bosses and promoted units, try and get her to level 20, and see how good she gets. Because the boost she gets from her Divine Stone, pretty good, uh, but she's only got 30 uses of it. I know there's a glitch you can use to get a Fire Stone for her, but I'm not going to try that because it involves berserking um, enemy units, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, and yeah, so otherwise we're taking all our best units. Um, I'm benching Thea just for one map because uh, I don't want her to die. So I'm taking Zeiss instead. But otherwise it's all our best units uh, that we can use. So, uh, again, I'm pretty sure I gave everyone the best weapons they can use. Uh, I'm pretty sure Roy... Oh, you can use a Silver Sword actually. Well, it should be fine. Killing Edge and Iron Blade will do enough. And... Yeah, we're giving everyone that we want to have extra stuff. So, yeah. So, we're just going to go ahead, make a save. And fight! So, this is chapter 16x, The Glorious Ascension. Lord Roats fled? What of me? I betrayed the church and took control of this tower in his order. Lord Roats' message said he leaves us to fend for ourselves. Because we were unable to bend the church to his side, he has no more use for us. This is all Yoda's fault. He hadn't meddled in my affairs. I agree. That's the least of our worries right now. Very well. Then this is our last stand. If we are to die, then the Lysian army shall fall along with us. Prepare the heavenly arrows. But sir, we'll be unable to avoid hitting our own men as well. You know the consequences for dissent. You shall do as I say. They'll regret crossing me. <laughs> And yeah, so what I remember of this map from the Tower of Valny is that it has sh beams of light that do, do damage along the staircases. This is the Saint's Tower. Saint Elamine's legendary weapon, the Aureola Spelltome, lies within. Thank you, Sir Douglas. I appreciate your help. Especially because we were fighting on opposite sides earlier. You need not thank me. I do as my king commands. There is nothing more to it. That said, you saved Etruria. I am honored to fight alongside you. Sir Douglas. All right, there we go. So what does Douglas have? He has a Silver Axe and a Silver Lance. He's a level 8 general. Decent-ish stats. But of course, I can't actually use him. Uh, so I'll give his stuff to Faye, I think. Now, uh, I forgot to have another look at the map again. So I'm just going to have a quick look through. We've got some Axe Reavers, but that doesn't really matter because we're not using any Axes. So, Cavaliers, Paladins on the right. Mages at the top. Bishops at the top more there. So, let's have a see. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. I'm looking for siege tones, mainly. So, let's see. Alright, so, we have a Berserk Staff from Wyndham, which means that the Restore Staff I gave on the Soul. Good idea. Yep. Eight uses. Should be enough. So, back there. So, we got Purge from that one. Purge from that one. Horse Slayer, that guy's got an Air Calibre, uh, and Silence as well. And this guy's got a Bolting. Okay. Oh, hang on, we've got more Boltings. What is with the obsession of giving people Siege Tomes? 
It just makes it so much harder to actually move forward. But I think that's all we need to worry about. So, uh, a good question of what we do first. So this guy's going to hit us first for 27. Uh, let's see, who's best at resistance? Uh, wow. Ooh, 26 resistance. She takes one point of damage from the Bolting Sage. And that's about the best we can do without giving someone a pure water. Oh, Lilina's got pure water, actually. Alright, so let's double check. The range stops on the stairs. Okay. Now, the problem is, is that I can't move far up enough to cross the staircases. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Yeah, I can't go all the way up. So, let's go ahead and put... And see, even having flyers for this map doesn't help because you just can't cross over the walls. Right, so, we're going to do this. We're going to put our cavaliers at the front. Use this enchant pro. 44 HP, nice. Uh, we'll do the same for Alan, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, sure, killing me, it'll do. Right, go for him. We'll put Melody on one side. She's got the Delphi shield as well. That's one. Then we'll put Zeiss on the other. Uh, yep. Yeah. Go for him. He's at 35, that's good. Uh, let's put Ray on the left, Lelina on the right. It makes sense to just, you know, split up your units either side. Because uh, that's how the map's set up. Okay. So now, uh, tell you what, we will trade over the stuff to Faye. And then we will dance for Douglas. And Douglas will be our meat shield. I'm pretty sure he's not required for anything else after this map. Um, but again, it's kind of like, I don't want people to die. It's just, that's the kind of thing that ends up happening. We'll put Faye. Actually, if they are coming down the staircases, I'd rather not put people in the way that I don't have to. And then we've got Soul. Uh, we don't have Physic. That's interesting. And I guess Royal, Royal go on the left. Okay. Alright, so they do move. Oh, they don't go... Okay. They don't go through all the stairs. That's interesting. Alright, so... Question is, do they move at all? If the enemies don't move whatsoever... And all I have to worry about is people with high enough resistance to tank the mages. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm pretty sure Lelina doesn't get doubled by these guys. 12 speed to 13? Yeah. And then same thing for Ray. You can have Nosferatu equipped. Pretty sure he doesn't get doubled at 12 speed to his 12. Yep, that's fine as well. Uh, let's see. So at 37 HP, he takes out this guy. Goes to 33. Then he takes 15. 13. He goes down to 20. This guy does 27. Five, yeah, he just dies. Uh, if he's not at full HP. Same thing for Alan as well, I'm guessing. Yeah, that barrier stuff would have come in handy. Um, oh, I think there was actually a trick you can use to have Faye tank all the hits from the, uh, the Sage. So, well, we'll see how it works out. So let's put Faye here. Use that angelic robe. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, Alan doesn't even double these guys. We could go down to 36. Then 
goes down to 20, and then he dies as well. Yeah, playing this game as a blind playthrough is a bit awkward. Without knowing what the enemy ranges are and how people can move and so on. But well, we'll just take it slow uh, and see where we get to. Uh, yeah, I don't want to put Zeiss in the range. Uh, Douglas again, he's going to be meat shield. So let's just go ahead and do a heal. And we can do a dance, another heal for Roy. I know I absolutely have to keep Melody and Zeiss alive, so anything that happens to those guys is going to cause a reset. Um, Lelina? I'm not sure if she has to survive anymore. You have to make her survive chapter 8 to get 8x. But otherwise, I think she's actually not required for anything else. But again, she's one of my better units, so I need to keep her, keep her going. Uh, I guess that'll do. I don't think these guys can reach me. No, they can't. So, just stay put. Uh-huh. Right, so only the mages have moved so far. That's good to know. In fact, it's probably a little bit better to do it this way, because what I can do is I can silence the bolting mage of Sage with uh, Soul. Does she double? Yes. Good. And he goes for a ray. Okay, that's fine. Did we miss? Hey, nice. Okay. Well, that makes things a little bit simpler now, because I can just charge forward, I think. So we'll use Roy first. Steel uh, Sword will do. Iron Blade, 81, 96. Yeah, Steel Sword will do. Shouldn't be missing those, and he didn't. That's good. But then... Do, 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 do. See where Ray can get to. Double the knights. I wonder if the AI changes on hard mode actually. Like, so far it seems like they're just staying put to allow you the ability to move upwards. And they kind of they put the the sage there with bolting to kind of just pepper you along the way. But it's probably intentional that they you know didn't do anything else apart from that. Really? Come on. Then we need to dull this guy. What's our lance rank? B. Okay. Uh, sure, I don't need to use killing killer lance. Again, I don't think there's any turn requirements for this map. Uh, can I hit the sage? 52. That makes it almost not worth it. As long as everyone can survive a single hit, then yeah, I don't think that's worth it. So, let's see. Yeah, Alan doesn't kill. So we'll do this with the javelin. Finish off with Alan. Mm -hmm. I think Zeiss might be the only non-level 20 unit we have. Let's see. Yeah, I want to get that rank up to B if I can for swords. There we go, good. Didn't do, didn't do a miss. So then Melina can go ahead and kill this knight. Alright, so. First hurdle seemingly overcome. Because that... It, if that works differently on hard mode, that's uh, a bit annoying to try and get through. That's fine. So then, let's see. Let's go ahead and just make sure that Faye is at full health. Again, I literally don't think I will ever fight with Faye unless it's to try and kill a boss. Uh, and even then, she might not be that good at it. Alright, so let's get Zeiss out of the way. 
One thing I didn't realize about giving Lalum, Larum the boots is that she will always keep up with our mounted units now. Ah, oh, I forgot he has D lances. That's terrible. Oh well. Right, let's see. Where can we go? Not close enough to get hit by the mercenary. This guy's got a longbow. Again, he can't reach either. And does that guy even move? Probably not. So I think going here is fine. If not, I'll find out soon enough. Okay, everyone survives a hit from the vaulting lane. Ooh. Good dodge. What I like to see. A bit of a shame I don't have any bow users, because uh, the only way I can hit that sage at the moment is uh, with a longbow until he moves. Right, so I guess we'll just have to deal with uh, the light shafts coming down if they become an issue. Uh, one thing I didn't think about is vulneraries on people. Hmm. Oh well. Probably a bit like to think about that now. So again, Alan's the only one that hasn't got healed yet. Faye's gonna go here. So right hand side, full HP. And I think, yeah, if I extend a little bit, I can make sure I'm out of, out of the Sage's range. And the other guy can't reach me, so that's good. Let's see. So he does 27. So I go to uh, 19. This guy does 27. Ooh. 27 on 15 does 12. So I go to 8. This guy does 17. Goes to 2. Yeah, okay. So this is fine for Alan. Get that equipped. Uh, I suppose I could always dance for someone. I guess I'll dance for Soul. Makes sense to heal up Noah. I suppose Larum's got elixirs on one side, so trade over the bolting to Lelina and then toss it out. Yeah, I think that's probably better. So let's do this trade, bolting, attack. Two hits goes. That's not bad. Uh, but better question is, is it worth it? Um, probably not actually. Because once he runs out of boltings, he's literally useless. So we'll just do this. Right, let's heal up Noah. And again, I suppose I could bury people as well, seeing as I've got the barrier staff. I think that'll probably come in handy for the purge mage, uh, purge bishops instead. So Melody, so she's got three resistance, so she takes twenty-four. Uh, but the paladin's not on the left hand side, so uh, here, yeah, hang on, no, oh, not there. Does that mean she gets hit by the mercenary? We'll put her here. Uh, Iron Lance equipped. I don't think I need anything else. Can I get hit by anybody? Oh. If I put Ray close to the wall, that means I can get hit by this guy. So he does 15. I can heal that back. Having angelic robes on everyone has made things a lot easier to sort of plan out. Oh, do I survive this hit? Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, that's good. Uh, see, do, 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 do. Right. If the sage goes for Zeiss, 
then he'll die. I think he does, dies outright as well. So, what I need to do is see... So he needs to go just above the stairs. Oh, he gets doubled by the paladin. Okay, never mind. And the mercenary. Oof. So in that case, I just stay out the range of the paladin. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Attack. So I go here. Be safe. Okay, I did not realize Zeiss would get doubled by paladins. Alan does almost as much damage with an iron lance as a paladin does with a silver lance. That's crazy. Oh, the, the major. That's fine. Well, I won't double it to get rid of him, so... But oh well. Uh, ooh. Okay, so, in range of the other mages now. Hmm. Pretty sure Larum has a pure water to put on. Okay, so he got hit. So I think he has to use an elixir now. Oh, really? Interesting. Alright, I have no healing. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so, Zeiss has to use an elixir, but that should be okay. Alina's gonna... Oh, she doesn't double this guy. Kind of annoying. But I can use Larum, so that's fine. Actually, how much does Faye do? It is 18. That's not bad. Alright, so do this. I think now we dance for Lilina. Just check. Yeah, we've got pure waters and elixirs. So, dance for Lilina. Do the same thing again. Uh, then kill with Alan, probably. Double check. Yeah, Lilina stays where she is. Uh, Zeiss needs to move, probably. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Hang on, let's see. If the mage doesn't move, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10. So this should actually be safe. So he's at full HP now. He can stay there. This guy's got two uses left. Uh, Alan, I think. Oh, he's not got a better. Uh, hmm. I suppose. Does she attack at two range? Uh, it doesn't say. Okay, well. If we move Faye here, then move Alan here, trade over that silver lance from Douglas, use the silver lance. It's enough to kill. Bit of a shaky hit rate, though. But it's the best shot we've got. Nice, okay. Then we use Douglas to be a meat shield below Lelina. Actually, it doesn't really matter. No one can hit her. And now I have to think about the other side. So, Silver Lance. Mm. See, this should be fine for Roy. Uh, let's hope he gets the kill. Come on, give us a crit, Roy. Nope, okay. Um, that should be alright as well, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So Ray going here is actually okay. 
Honestly, does he heal 2 or 22? Because I think they changed how Nosferatu worked from this game to Fire Emblem 7. No, he heals 2, never mind. Okay, that's fine. And then I can do this with Noah. 12 speed. His 16. If I'm using an Iron Lance, I don't get way down. I'll do Killer Lance, I think. Doo -doo. All right. And then Melody. Skill Lance and Javelin. Skill Lance and Javelin. X Reaver. Mage can't hit me. And yeah, I think I'll send Sol left. He can't really do anything else. Oh, the... Okay. I was wondering whether the bishops would just stay where they were. Obviously not the case. Goes for Melody. Does he double Melody? No, okay. Goes for Alan, of course. But, Angelic Robe, basically giving an Angelic Robe to everyone has made things a lot easier. Because the other option was to just give it to all the people with the lowest HP possible. Uh, but, it's like, should be fine. Okay, got hit again. But, he should be out of range of the other mage. Okay, Faye. Oh, that's a nice... Nice little animation. And she gets her first experience point. I'm going to assume that doing that did not try and, uh, take up a use of her Divine Stone. 